was a tie. Hey, Vim. How's the house sitting going? Yeah, good. Mrs. P left for her neighbourhood watch retreat about an hour ago, and I'm just watching a little rich ghoulish before I hit the hay. Nice. Well, have a good night, and remember to film any spookies if you see them. Yes, Dad. Always be filming. Greetings, weary watcher. You have joined us on a very special episode. Today, we are going to speak to spiritless spectres, perished progeny, the daily departed. Please welcome. Clive, it's a uh, Please. privilege as well. I need silence if I am to reach through the boundaries of our world into the domain of the dead. Oh, restless spirits, who wishes to come through with a message for a... Clive? Clive! Yes, I am getting something. Oh, it's someone close to you. Your wife, yes. It's your beloved wife whose name begins with a... S. Yes, an S. Come forth and bestow your message upon me, Sessalibs. Sarah, Su Susie, Sienna. Shaminki. Shaminki? Oh, yes, yes, it's Shaminki. Such an actual name. She says she's saying something. Oh, oh, she's saying something. She loves you dearly. Yeah, that's odd. We were divorced because she hated my guts. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to ask you where the key to the garden shed was, if that's not too much of a bother. <laughs> Oh, my. You appear to have angered your ex-wife due to your lack of information provided to me on your initiation form up front. Oh. Hey, how come there's hydraulics under here? Come on! Uh, not now! I think he was about to see a ghost under there. Guess I need to find the fuse box? Pfft, a lot of security for a fuse box. There it is. Duh. Noisa. If you or someone you know are experiencing spiteful spectres, please call 7800 Ghoulish and leave a concise message, or crazy ramblings will be ignored. All righty. What to do now? Bit of snooping? Yeah, bit of snooping, I reckon. What sort of snacks do we have in here? Ratweed, hog's breath, scroggin. Blech. Old people always have the weirdest snacks. Ah! Hello! Who's up there? Always be filming. Oh, come on, stupid fuse. Nah. Sorry, just a warning. If you're a robber, I am live streaming this to the whole world. Oh, nothing. Well, that's lucky, because I was lying about the live stream. Ah, oh, just books. They must have fallen off the shelf. Doors, dimensions, and the domain of the dead. Oof, dark. I am definitely a witch. Huh, weird book. Why am I sleeping on the couch when there's a sweet bed up here? Oh, that's comfy on my bum feet. Mrs. Pococo knows the Wad Witch? <gasps> I lied when I said I lied about the live streaming! Brave, be brave, be brave! <laughs> oh, it's just a sewing mannequin in a witch's outfit. <gasps> Mrs. Pococo's a witch! She's home early. No! She already got to them! And now I'm next! I know you're in there, then. That door! Nope! <laughs> Open, you stupid old window! Come on, Ty, please be alive. Kilda, it's Ty. Leave a message. 
Especially if it's about a ghost. I don't know if you're okay, but just in case, Mrs. Pakoko's a witch. There's some sort of portal in her laundry. Something yuck is coming out of it. I'm hiding under a bed and I think I'm doomed. Bye! Come out, come out, wherever you are. Found you. <laughs> Some do evil witch things to me. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Come out of there. What makes you think I'd do anything bad to you? You're a witch? Yes, which is why I came back from my broom. I told you I was going to a neighbourhood witch retreat. Oh, a neighbourhood witch. But, but, what about the evil witch laugh? Oh, that's just a lightning, dear. Always scares a little guff out of me, which makes me cackle. <laughs> Fair enough. But what about the pictures of my friends you've witched up? Witched up? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I was just crossing off the people I asked to house sit for me first. Well, that's a dramatic way to do it, but I guess it makes sense. I've been a witch since before you were born, dear. I don't practice much anymore, but once a year, I like to hang out with my witch buddies and cast spells into the wee hours of the night. Sure, there's a few bad apples out there who ruin it for the rest of us, but we mainly do knitting spells. But what about the weird portal in your laundry? Explain that. Vim, what have you done? I may have left it open a smidge. This isn't good. Why is this even here? A few months ago, I was in need of more linen storage, so I cast a spell to create a little more space. But I accidentally opened up a portal to the other side. The other side? As in the other side? Yes. That's probably why you and your friends started experiencing a lot more spooky stuff recently. Some of the ghosts coming through seemed pretty harmless, but others, well, they were a bit nasty. So I decided to stop using it and bolted it shut. Right. Is this a bad time to tell you I saw a pretty freaky one making its way out? Pale? Well-dressed? Face like a slapped balloon? Yeah, and he's a friendly... Nasty one. Nasty one, yeah, thought so. Hmm. I managed to push him back in with a reversal spell, but witch magic isn't very effective against the paranormal. I'm afraid we're going to need someone with a level of expertise that neither myself or your crew have. <gasps> I know who to call! Wait, how come I was last on the house-sitting list? 